New version of VRC Lens is here and today we're going to be checking out what's new and what new features there exist. This is a version 1.8 so without further ado let's check it out. So we're going to start off by importing it into our project. So just in case you don't know how to apply VRC Lens uh, this part of the video is going to be how to set it up. But in case you already know how to set it up then you can skip to this point here. So how do we set up VRC Lens? We're going to search VRC Lens, open the folder prefabs. You want to drag VRC Lens prefab here and you should see it now around your avatar. You're going to go ahead and click and hold your avatar from the left and drag it on the right side in the target avatar. Make sure that the VRC Lens on the left is selected. That way you see the all the options on the right. You want to click on your avatar, scroll down, and you're going to find the expressions menu. Click back on the VRC Lens on the left and you want to drag that expressions menu into the sub menu. Make sure the right defaults you check. Make sure to have a disable button. And now from any of these options here, uh, it mostly purely depends on your personal opinion. I like to have a 12 millimeter with 1.4. I like to add all the extra features. So the zoom, the manual. Um, after you're done basically applying, you wanna go auto arrange. This is going to basically uh, put everything together how it should be so you don't have to manually do it and that way you can just apply VRC Lens. Now what actually changed? In game, I'm pretty sure everything um, is mostly the same. The UI might be a little bit different and there's few features here and there, but the most fun feature in my opinion is that you can change the way your camera model looks like now. So before you just had your standard VRC Lens model, but now you're actually able to change it with other models. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. You can head over to the website called Sketchfab and you can type in camera and you can basically find anything that you want or anything that looks appealing. It doesn't have to be a camera model. It can be a model of basically anything you want. Uh, but if you wanna keep it nice and simple, just type in camera and search for the model that you're looking for. Make sure that the camera that you have selected is low in polygons because this is going to really decrease uh, the performance of your avatar. Now it's not too bad, it's not going to lag majorly, but if you want to keep it nice and then you don't want to have a model that has too many polygons. Once you downloaded the selective model that you want, you want to simply just drag it from the desktop in Unity and you should see it here. Now head over to your VRC lens and then on the right side you should see change camera model and right above it there's a camera model and right here and you just want to drag the prefab that you want into that little slot. Now if the camera disappears for some reason and you don't see it, zoom out because the model might be a bit bigger than you expected and just resize it. And when you resize it, it might not be under your arm. So the way you fix that is just by auto arranging it again. You might have to change the size of it and you play around with it, but you can always auto arrange and it'll go back to its standard position. Once you're happy with your model, scroll down, make sure that every to fix everything that there is needed to be fixed. And if your camera moves around, uh, when you do that, just scroll up and hit auto arrange again. And then you just wanna hit apply VRC lens. And you're pretty much good to go. You're ready to upload your avatar. Again, fix something if there's something that needs to be fixed. And you're pretty much good to go. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you around.